Hello everybody, my name is Virus Lord when I am back to bring you guys another video. Today we will be looking at two builds in my Windows Whistler series. Today we will be looking at Windows Whistler builds 2257 and 2267. Now these two builds are kind of significant, they have small changes, so I decided mm, it's not going to be enough for both videos, so I might as well combine these two builds. Now, unfortunately, I could not capture the setup process for Windows XP or Windows Whistler 2257. However, have no fear. I did capture it for the next one, so we will be able to see the beta build setup for those. It's pretty much the same. Don't worry too much about it, guys. Hope it doesn't bother you that much that you won't be able to see one, <laughs> one installation for just this video. So, let me switch over to the new desktop. Here we go. Beautiful looking desktop. Really love it. Now, let me give you guys a little bit of information about 2257. So, 2257 was compiled. I believe I'm going off by the BIOS date. Was compiled on August 11, 2000. So, August 11, 2000. And it's got a time bomb of 31 days, so about a month later, so September 11th, so it's a very short build. It's a very tiny build, it's not too much. So let me give you a little bit of information. So this build marked the change for the Windows Whistler boot screen, as you guys saw. It's still heavily based on the Windows 2000 one. And during the final stage of setup, it now displays the information screens. I don't know if you guys saw that. So this is a personal build. And I had to in install this a little bit differently because the administrator account does not work. Whichever option I choose, I will automatically be logged in during the user during username during setup. So I had to do a little loophole around that for logging in so it's a little bit more easier to log in. So if you guys notice right off the bat, this build has the new theme um, automatically on by default, including the new start menu. Then the start button and the, and the option buttons and the, di the dialogues have been smooth. And the desktop on the My Documents computer places, network places, and Internet Explorer have been removed by default. So we don't have those folder shortcuts anyway. Anymore. Excuse me. And then the My Documents is now named My Files. So we will actually be able to see that. Now let's take a look at the actual Windows Internet Explorer. Let's check what this looks like. Looking very nice. It's still IE. Five, actually, I believe 5.6, I believe from the last build nothing too much has changed here So you can see the, the new theme looks really really nice It's starting to kind of gear more and more toward Windows XP style Very very nice. So while we wait for Internet Explorer to actually get up in here Let's check about the properties. There we go 2257 Now let's keep going. So we have Windows Media Player there. Here's my computer so you can see it says my files, local disk. It still has that Windows ME-esque kind of browser to it. Still hasn't changed. I believe we won't see that changed until the next video, which is next week. So stick around. <laughs> Alrighty. So here's this Win32 folder. Here we go. Branding name change. Codename Whistler. Very interesting here. So Minesweeper. Have you changed? No, you look almost the same. Minesweeper never usually changes at these points. <laughs> So let's see, here we go. What else do we have? Oh, you guys can't see the cursor. Cool. <laughs> Editing mistake. I'm very sorry about that. Anyways, let's take a look. I think I'll actually fix it during post. Yeah, I'll fix it during post editing. So I'll fix that for you guys. You guys will be able to see the cursor right now. I just kind of noticed it here without editing. So here's Internet Explorer. We finally got to see the new web page. It works. Everything looks okay. The world is not ending. <laughs> Alrighty, so let's continue. See, this is the help and support. Will this actually take us to the updated help and What? <laughs> what just happened here? Okay, so I got Windows 2000 there. Alrighty. Alright, help and support. File a bug report. Okay, report bug to the Windows Whistler beta team. Help and support still hasn't changed. It still looks more or less like the same. It still looks like the Windows ME-esque style. So, not much has really changed in that aspect at all. So here we go. I believe I'm almost about done. I'm pretty much done with this build. I don't have anything else to say about this particular build of Windows XP. So we're going to be moving on in a little bit right on to Windows. Microsoft Windows. Codename Whistler or XP. Build 2267 in a little bit. And we are actually going to go into the setup. And we will be seeing that, which is going to be very interesting. So... 
a little a little note on this it's got a really bad habit of partitioning so the build has problems with creating a partition on the hard drive so i had to use a windows 98 second edition boot floppy disk run it run f disk and then the setup will be able to format it itself so it was I tried doing it. Oh, and here's the new login screen. I forgot to show you this, guys. I'm pretty sorry. Here's the new login screen. Looks kind of like the Windows Neptune one. A little bit more different, but a little bit more advanced. All right, let's make this transition and go right into the new build. So I'm going to be doing it by here. I'm going to be doing upgrades because it's a lot, lot easier than actually doing a new update. All right, so the setup has changed a little bit. Looks a little bit more different from the last one. Here we go. Alrighty, so oh and it just changed <laughs> yeah that's editing for you guys i saved you guys a good amount of time so now that i have this one here got it got it so this build comes in two different types of sqs i believe i said that right personal which is the home edition and professional i believe this one's the personal edition i think i i'm pretty sure this is the personal i don't remember which one i put oh it was professional never mind all right, professional. <laughs> that answers my question right there. So, and now this one has the new boot screen, black with the Windows logo and bullets instead of the Windows 2000 setup. So now it says Windows Whistler setup. So we're going to be able to see that boot screen now. And this build also includes Windows Movie Maker. Very nice. So let's take a look at the setup. So setup is starting Windows Whistler. Setup is uh okay. So it looks pretty much relatively the same just like any other Windows Whistler build. So scanning for previous versions. So here's the unpartitioned space. So here we go. Yeah, caution. All right, let's just go. I just want to do this update. So this build was compiled, I believe, on September 11th, 2000. So there we go. And then this has a time bomb of 90 days. So December 10th, 2000 is when this build expires. Very interesting. Alrighty, so set up, start saving configuration, computer will reboot, come on, we want to go right into Windows Whistler 2267. Here is the new boot screen, looks really, really nice actually, very, very interesting that we have here. Excuse me for the long pause right there, I was a bit under the weather and I had to quickly blow my nose, <laughs> I'm very sorry guys, it's okay. It's alright though, I'll be just fine. I'll be, I'll keep doing these videos for you guys, even if I'm sick. <laughs> I love you guys that much. Thank you all guys for all the really positive comments. I'm really enjoying reading all your comments. And I'm really enjoying all this amazing love you guys have been giving me. I really love it. Makes me want to make more of these videos for you guys. And I have a lot of fun doing this. It's really cool. I love editing. I love doing my voiceovers. <laughs> I love doing all this. It's something I've always wanted to do. And I just generally enjoy doing this. And I'm pretty unique. There's not that many other people that are doing stuff like this. So I feel a little proud in the work that I put into it. And I really love just sharing all this knowledge with you guys. And showing people who really care about this stuff what Windows look like. Any Windows fanboys out there who really enjoy Windows, they'll know how it all started, how it developed. And very nice. I hope you guys really do enjoy this series. It's going to be a really long series. <laughs> One of the longest series in my... Windows XP in one of my Windows series, really. So here we go. Let's try this out. We go Windows Whistler Professional. All right. Built to do 67. Here's a new oh network identification. Here we go. Just do that. Do that. Applying computer settings. So you can see the colors a little off because I haven't uploaded. I haven't actually downloaded the new drivers for it. All right. Let's go. I'm gonna zoom out right about now and make a quick cut. Here we go! Windows! Oh, wow, that's actually changed a little bit. Um, looks a little buggy, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately. Ah, but that's okay. Alright, so I'm in true color. Okay, I'm, that's high color. So I'm in true color. Alright. Nothing too bad about that. Properties. Nothing really has changed here. Everything was relatively the same. However, there's a bit of changes here, like we said. So... We saw the boot screen. Now all we gotta do is just look at Windows Movie Maker. So it has some slight changes actually. So let me change this wall. Okay then. <laughs> all right. So I guess we found a bug in this build. This build does not like using wallpapers, as you can see. <laughs> so even though I do tile. <laughs> all right. So this build does not like do using wallpapers. Fine. Oh, that's that's great. I love to see that. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Watch me continue fail. Oh, okay. Let's just not even use any. All right. So wallpapers are broken in this build. 
Looks like some of the images are actually broken here. More pro more programs. They're looking the same. Nothing too, too different, really. But... Mm, alrighty. Looks everything, looks everything... Yeah, it looks relatively the same. Nothing too different. Ooh. Oh, okay. This is new. This is, uh, new, actually. Whoa. Okay, so they updated the actual, um... Help, help and support thing. This is really cool. All right. They didn't say this in my notes. How interesting. All right. That's really cool. They've actually updated the Windows Whistler support. That's really looking good. So it's starting to kind of look more or less like the one you would see in Windows XP. However, it's still a little bit more different. Here we go. Build. Uh, <laughs> I already forgot the build. 2267. Excuse me. Let's check out the internet. Let's see if we can connect to the internet. Alrighty, so oops. Oh, no. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I don't have dial-up. I don't use dial-up anymore. Do we still? I, I, it's really interesting. People still use dial-up these days. Hmm. It goes to show you how some people just can't come up with times or just broadband just can't get to them. Uh, Alright, so as you can see, still Windows ME-esque style. You still kind of get that feel of Windows ME. It's not called Windows. It's not called WinNT anymore. It's starting to be called Windows folder. Very interesting. Alrighty, so let's go to the System32 folder. Let's see what we can find here. Alrighty, alrighty. Let's see if I can check the Winver dialog. Uh, where are you? Where are you? Ah, here you are. Alright, Winver. Microsoft Codename Whistler. Amazing. Really cool. Nothing. Yeah. That's about it. So let me see if I can change the theme. Here's the professional theme, actually. Um. Oh, okay. <laughs> I keep forgetting. Uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna try anymore. It says Windows. I'm not even gonna try anymore because this this theme is just absolutely broken. <laughs> really cool though. I'm pretty much enjoying myself here, and I'm pretty sure that's really about it, guys. That's all I really have on this build. Nothing else has really changed about this about Windows XP at this point, and it all looks relatively the same. So. I say thank you guys so much for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit those notifications so you guys know every time I post a video. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Follow my Twitter so you guys can keep up to date and you can ask me any, any questions about these builds of Windows XP. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, I'm not ready to end the video yet. <laughs> I still got a good amount of time so I can talk to you guys a little bit. Um, I would really still like to have uh, a little bit of help with my Windows X with my Windows series. Oh, here's the control panel. Control panel looks relatively the same. Um, still need a little help with my videos. Wanting to get some just sources. If anyone knows any sources for any builds of Windows, Windows 7, Windows 8.1, Windows 8, Windows 10, any beta builds or any sources that host those builds, I would greatly appreciate it so I can continue this series and I can end it off on Windows 10 and we can move right on to Windows Mac OS. I'll actually try and finish my Windows 3.0 series because I couldn't get those builds working, but now I can. So I'll work on those after Windows 10 or I can just do it if I don't get any builds or if I can't make any series on Windows 7, 8.1, 8, or 10. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that like button and have those notifications on so you know when I post. Virus Alertable, signing off.